Hey, 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 it's Rocket Lay here once again. What's up, everybody? Um, I want to first apologize for having that not do a video in so long. Um, I had a lot of personal problems happening in my life, and not only that, I haven't keep not keeping up with the channel, excuse me, as I should. I also haven't talked to Coop in a while. Well, not, I'm not mad at him or anything, but not by any means. It's just, you know, again, the personal problem. Sorry, I want to apologize. So, um, I know I'm late. This happened on Thursday. But, um, it's just, it's just tragic that this happened. I mean, I don't know why this happened and why... So, Kyoto, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Kyoto Animation Studios, um, burned down, um, they were known for doing tons of anime, a lot of, like, slice of life anime, fan anime, to, like, recent popular fantasy anime, and, you know, I haven't seen a lot of them, there's just, like, think of a few I've seen, but even the ones I haven't seen, I know of them. Because I know friends of mine who watches that 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 had watched said animes, both men and women. And so it was a well known studio. And to suddenly hear that some crazy asshole burned the building and and, and, and not just burned the building, but got people killed. And it kept, like, the number kept going up and up each day. Each day I checked, it just kept going up and up and up. Like, it would say, think only a few people got killed. Then it went up to 10. Then it went up to 20. Then it went up to 30. Then it went up to, last time I checked, it's 33. And before I even started recording, it was now it's confirmed up to 34 people needlessly died. For no reason, because of this crazy asshole. But the, but the good up news is, though, the, 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 the only good news out of all this, there's an update. They caught this man that admitted to the crime. Though, like with Philip DeFranco, um, like does with his policies, I will not show the man's face, nor say his name. All, all I'll tell you is he's a male, and he was 41 years old. That's it. All, that's all I'm going to give you. And because I don't want to, like, put this monster's face on the cover of my thumbnail to give him like credibility because that's what he wants he wants fame he, he wants to be well known and I'd say and I'm probably get demonetized but I'm not getting paid anyway on YouTube fuck that guy fuck him to hell oh since he confessed to it I hope they throw the fucking book at this piece of shit because he killed 34 people yeah granted you know I know people want more kind of sad the fact that you know a lot of animes that were getting second seasons from the studio now won't happen because it's an asshole. But I'm more mad at the fact that, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's you know, of course, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. But the, I'm more mad at 34 people died because of this fucker. For no reason. I mean, I don't know much about it. I mean, I didn't read the article too much. Um, all I know is he, he admitted to it, and they, and they arrested him. And, and now, and just made it worse, the head guy um, of that studio who survived the fire, thankfully said that a lot of physical and digital copies of their tools and stuff got destroyed. So I think this, uh, unless another anime studio absorbs them or bails them out, I, I hate this, I think this anime studio is done. And, and, and no fault of their own, they're like, oh, they were doing bad or weren't selling. They had made tons of successful slice of life animes and fantasy animes and just, in general, just wildly successful and just, for this to happen is just so heartbreaking. And I know it doesn't mean much, but my condolences to the family and friends who are killed in this terrible, unneeded tragedy. I don't even know why this happened. If I had to guess, I'm just guessing, speculating, maybe more will be revealed as it comes out. I'll update, I'll leave a comment with an update. But if you want my opinion, the reason why I think he did so much damage and managed to kill so many people the way he did, I think he was an informal employee and he got 
and he was probably a piece of crap employee. Maybe he's a good employee. Maybe he got shafted. I don't know. He, 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 either way, even even if the company did you wrong, you don't you don't. Let's let's say this they, 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 that studio screwed that guy over. You don't you don't justify it by burning down the studio and killing people. You don't justify it because that's thirty four that's thirty four people that lost husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, cousins. I mean, all aunts, n nephews, grandmas and grandpas. They have lost loved ones because of this. I don't care what they did to you. But this doesn't, this doesn't justify to do what you did, sir. I hope you rot in jail or prison or whatever they're going to do to you. I hope they throw the book at you and throw you and put the maximum penalty at the law at you. Because of what you did was downright monstrous and disgusting and you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. And again, to the family and friends who are affected by this, my condolences. Just, oh my god. Seriously. Seriously. It's just... Blown I just, I didn't want to believe it. It's just like, am I, I'm like, did I read that right? It's just, oh my God, man. Guys, um, so tell me your thoughts in the comment section below about the situation. What was your favorite anime that that studio made? And, um, I'll put mine in the comment section below because I can't think right now because I mean, I'm not sure I can't think right now. I just want to focus on the video, my thoughts on itself. So I'll probably put like my favorite anime they make. I just, I did watch a few of them and I did enjoy a few. But it's just, again, my condolences to the family and friends who were killed in this terrible, terrible tragedy. And the guy who did this, I'll throw the book at this asshole. Show him no mercy. Because of him, 30, 34 people needlessly died for no reason. I really hope they throw the book at this asshole. Alright guys, that's my thoughts on the video. Again, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm not going to do the usual like, comment, subscribe. You do what you want. You know, I mean, I appreciate you share the story so more people know what's going on. So that, you know, provide you an update. But I don't care about the like and comment. This, all that says, man, um, to do a quote from Phil DeFranco. Um, when you see your, your favorite loved one, or your or loved one you care for the most, or, or, or someone you love in general, hug them, squeeze them, kiss them, tell them you love them, because you never know. You might you, you never know when they walk out that door. You never might see them again. We're here today and gone tomorrow, and that's a case of what what you know what we saw today. I mean, not today, but what happened that Thursday. You know, because we're here today and gone tomorrow, man. We live in a crazy, crazy, fucked up world. You know, we gotta just, just do our best to survive. Again, I know I'm repeating myself. Thoughts, comment section below. I'll try to respond as fast as humanly possible. That's the video, guys. Um, stay safe. Thank you for subscribing. I love you all, and have a good one.